worked for 15 years in the film and television business as a development executive, and I've worked the last three years as founder of an online video editing and publishing platform. And You'd think that those two things wouldn't be related, but uh, there are actually quite a few lessons that I've drawn from my entertainment background that I found applicable to what I've been doing now. Uh, the first is that you really need to be able to condense your business to what's called in the entertainment business a log line. Um, that's, that's the beginning and the middle and an end. You need to state what the problem is. You need to identify what the obstacles are, what your solution to that problem is going to be, and then you need to come up with uh, some sort of, uh, of an outcome. How are you going to solve those problems in a meaningful and compelling way? The second thing is that execution is everything. Uh, there's an old adage in Hollywood that ideas are a dime a dozen. Um, and to a large extent, I think that applies to uh, entrepreneurship. I mean, people invest in people. Uh, whether you're talking to a VC or you're trying to recruit team members or customers, they're really buying you first and your idea uh, secondarily. And I, I think that's why you know, actors tend to work with the same directors over and over again. And I, and I think that's why that if you've got a serial entrepreneur, uh, even if his last business was a failure, um, he's probably more apt to be funded than a up-and-coming entrepreneur with a quote-unquote great idea uh, just because uh, people invest in people with a track record. The last thing is that, that no really is just one step closer to yes. Um, VCs and development execs are really cut from the same cloth. I mean, they are in the business to say no. Uh, they say no probably a hundred times a day. The ratio is, I think, you know, in Hollywood it's a hundred to one to get a script made. And it's probably the same in the investment community. So that really shouldn't discourage you. I mean, you should really look at it as kind of a positive thing because now you know the numbers. So every time you go in to pitch or to talk to a customer or a VC or a new team member, just remember that do your best, but if they tell you no, it's just the one step closer to getting yes. And that's the big answer you're looking for anyway. So, you know, entrepreneurs have an array of experience and past experiences. Uh, and the lessons that they've learned in their former lives shouldn't be discarded. They should be embraced and brought into their current endeavor. Uh, because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna make you a success.